Okay, here it is, my Blade 120 SR. Um, I've had this helicopter for well over a year now. I've posted a lot of videos about it and the multiple upgrades I've tried on it. Some were just to make it look good, some were to make it fly good, some were to make it lighter. And I think I finally found the right balance between style, performance, and weight. Um, right now, the helicopter weighs about one gram more than the stock version of itself. And uh, I guess I should start off by saying, if you plan on going full collective uh, helicopter one day and really uh, going crazy with it, you may not want to spend a whole lot of time on your 120 SR. It's a whole lot of fun. It's uh, really durable. And, but it's not really fully capable of going in a heavy wind or doing any kind of 3D flight. But if you just want to have a helicopter for fun, something that's relatively cheap, something that's you know just good for the family, good for your friends, you know, not too hard to teach others to fly, the 120 is a perfect helicopter. And I mean, if you wanted to, you could probably just keep it stock, and it's it's pretty good. The helicopter itself in the stock form. It's it's pretty good. Like um, the upgrades definitely give it an edge outside and uh, give it just a little bit more uh, performance overall. And I'm just gonna go over uh, what I've done. I have the full metal head. It's a mixture of micro heli and rack on heli. Pretty much, it's all micro heli uh, head swash. Uh, the I think the only thing that's not micro heli is the actual hub and the anti-rotation collar. Everything else is micro heli. I have uh, found personally that micro heli makes better parts for the 120 SR. It's fly bar. The rack on fly bar is just, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's, yeah, it just creates too much instability in the flight, but the micro heli is perfect. Um, I have a extreme motor as well I've put on it, and that definitely gives it a little bit more punch out power. I can kind of zoom in on it you can see the top of it there um, one thing I finally got around to doing is getting an extended tail boom that is almost impossible to find on the internet you pretty much have to make one for yourself I found some guy on eBay that sold it but uh, I didn't really like the way his looks it had red white and blue on it and whatnot and, uh, it had a stock uh, tail motor rotor and I prefer aluminum when I can get it because it doesn't break as easy in a crash and uh, if you're willing to spend the money, you have a much more durable helicopter if you go all aluminum. Anyways, uh, as you can see, this is a stock tail boom. It's clearly a bit shorter than the one I have on here. Most uh, extended tail booms come an inch longer than uh, the stock one. I found an inch longer gives it a little bit too much tail weight, and it's not quite necessary. So I've gone with about three quarters of an inch more in length. Um, the only thing I wish I could do differently here is get a new tail rotor. I wish they made one that was a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, it could push a little more torque out. But I ordered one online and uh, it's the direction is the opposite of what I need for the 120. So if anyone knows where you can find one for the 120 SR is a little bit better, please let me know. Um, anyways, uh, you know I have the upgraded Protec batteries, they're 550 milliamps. I think they uh, have 30C, I'm not sure, I think, I can't remember, but it's definitely a better battery than the stock battery. I've had this helicopter for so long, I've kind of forgotten all the features of all the upgrades, but I prefer to keep the stock canopy, canopy on. It's actually a little bit lighter than the MIA canopies, and I've done all kinds of wild stuff. I've put headlights on them, and different kind of skids. These skids are good but they're not quite as durable as the other MIA skids I have on here and of course this comes with the tail boom support as well which I like especially for my extended tail boom. These were a lot of fun it really made the helicopter look cool and it flew just fine. This is another version that they had out for a while. Uh, you click it in and or you pop it out one or the other and it has a little light. A headlight. There we go. You saw it right up and that's kind of cool but it they're a little bit heavier, but actually these are much more durable. They're made out of a little thicker aluminum than this one, obviously. I like these uh, skids overall. Um, anyways, uh, I prefer to use a 6i because it has a little bit more increments of trim and you can do a couple of things as far as customizing the thrust and your uh, left stick. 
Um, if you look at my other videos, you can see a couple things I did for my tail to keep the the tail rotor uh, bearing keeper on. There's a little plastic thing I uh, put on the tail rotor with a little eraser I stuck in the little hole of my Rackon Heli tail motor hub and it just keeps that little bearing keeper there on if you can see it. I got a little rubber band that keeps the connection of my battery from my tail boom, I mean not my battery but my motor on my tail boom together. It just kind of keeps it from wobbling and getting stuck in possible leaves or grass if I'm flying low to the ground. Um, overall, man, I love this helicopter. This has been a lot of fun. It definitely has a lot more tail response now that the tail uh, is a little bit more extended. Uh, everything about this helicopter is upgraded. We have the aluminum frame with the extreme motor. Of course, the whole head, aluminum uh, main shaft. Uh, pretty sure I've covered all of it in my other videos if you want to go into more extensive uh, looks at it but I do kind of like the idea that I put the heat, heat shrink wrap over my tailbone to make it white it's not the best job in the world but who's looking at it up close anyways it looks good from here doesn't it uh, anyways it flies great I've, like I said I've had this helicopter for a long time and I've tried multiple upgrades from rack on to extreme to micro heli MIA and I found that this is pretty much the best combination mixture if you're gonna be looking into getting your 120 uh, upgraded you may want to steer clear of most rack on parts uh, I'm not trying to put down rack on they actually make a lot of great parts just in particular the 120 upgrades weren't exactly that great but MCPX I can't complain they make great upgrades to the MCPX but I'm still a micro heli guy if you ask me MIA makes great upgrades as well they tend to go with plastic upgrades which is uh, great in a lot of circumstances of course you know they don't really mess with the uh, applications to the head they usually stick with booms and supports and uh, landing gear and I must admit there's tell these this new tough skids they have are awesome I thought I didn't like them because I wanted something carbon fiber but these skids have been true blue to me and I've never broken them like I thought for sure I was gonna have to order a bunch of them but it turns out not so much um, as you see it's got the MI boom support and I put the 120 uh, I think that's that's actually maybe rack on heli I can't remember Telfin or not but regardless it's all CA glued and permanently in place and everything is uh, how it is and I must admit the helicopter is great it handles the wind better than it ever will in any other circumstances uh, like I said if I had to uh, do one thing different about this helicopter I really wish I could find a tail rotor it was a little bit more powerful and bigger. I have this one. I shall show you. But like I said, the direction of the tail on this one is uh, incorrect. And so if you go on eBay trying to find one and it looks like this, don't buy it because it's not going to work for your 120. Uh, anyways, I just figured I'd kind of show you my stock parts, my stock batteries, and stock frame with the stock. Uh, motor and the comparison between the two um, like I said uh, if it wasn't for the tail boom this actually would weigh about a gram and a half less uh, than the stock uh, blade 120 but it doesn't really seem to be bothered by the extra weight you have to trim it out a bit to make up for the tail weight but <laughs> like I said this helicopter is great it's flies wonderfully and I'll probably post another video here shortly of uh, it in flight I'm Michael Barnett Keep on watching.